you made it to Cheryl's place. I am Cheryl. Welcome everyone. This video was actually suggested to me, which I didn't even ever think about doing, um, from Deanna from Adventures of Deanna. Um, I had mentioned I made a bag for a while. Rick's um, having surgery tomorrow and she said, why don't you do what's in your bag? And I am, I'm doing it. I should be getting ready for, well, it's not that late. I'm, I'm not getting ready for bed. Rick's sleeping. I, I know I won't sleep. So let's be busy and do something. So here's my bag. Uh, it's kind of like a beach bag, but there's some pockets inside. And um, <clears throat> there's enough things in here. I won't, I don't need to bring my purse. So let's just jump in on what I have in here. So let's start with, uh, maybe I should lift it up. I don't know if you can see there's some pockets and there's a zipper area. I left it open because we we're gonna be digging in there. So I'll start with the zippered area. Keys. Um, medications. Neat little separate them out thing I found years ago. Um, ID and cash. A little notepad. And a couple different pens. And then I also have this little bag in there inside. I'm just putting the pens and stuff. A little Ipsy bag from years ago when I did Ipsy. I kept some of the bags because they're cute for traveling and whatever else. So inside here, this little zipper, and I have some hand sanitizer. We got this from the hotel, I just keep refilling it. Um, a hair clip if I need it. Some mints. Some gum. Chapstick. Some hand lotion. And, um, Cough drops, sugar-free cough drops, and sugar-free sour candy. Um, my allergies are bothering me, and I need the sugar-free um, hard candy, sour hard candies for um, that thing on the side of my face, the TMJ and the saliva, whatever have you. So that's what's in the big pocket there. So I'm just going to put all those things back in there so I don't... Um, accidentally forget something. So yeah, so then that just zips up nice. I'll zip that up later. Sunglasses. Um, it says cloudy, but you never know. Um, Skittles, these are not for me. I always carry this, whether it's purse, fanny pack, whatever for Rick, just in case he has low blood sugar. That's the fastest way um, to get sugar into his system. Readers. My cute readers, I get so many lovely compliments. And um, a cleaning readers thing. And a book. This, I love the this series from Jean M. I don't know how to say her last name. A A Yule. She is the author of Clan of the Cave Bears. And I believe this is the last book in the series. I could be wrong. I, I have them all except for, I think this is the last one. Um, so I'm very excited about finishing this book up. I started it a while ago. So I brought that along. I have a little, another Ipsy bag. It's kind of fun, it's a little Halloween-y. Like cats, witches, bats, ghosts. In here, I have headphones and my phone charger. Um, so that's great, we'll just keep that out. And then um, I bring color books. These are the two I chose to bring just in case I, I have no idea which one I'm interested in doing. So I'll just kind of flip through. Let's see how to do this. Flip through some of the pages. This one is called Natural Wonders Color Art for Everyone. So there's all sorts of different things in here. Let's see, we kind of flip through that fast. What is that? Ooh, some dragonflies. Oh, it is dragonflies, that's cool. So I have that. 
And I have paper in here so the markers don't go through when I'm coloring. And then this one is called Entangled Coloring Book. And the reason I'm bringing these ones, they're thinner so they won't make my bag too heavy. And let's see if I can thumb through. Not used to thumbing through uh, books for people. Let's see here. So there's a variety of choices in here. Uh, yeah, so they're, oopsie, that went fast, but you guys get the fabulous idea of what's going on in there. Since I have some of my color books handy, I'm just going to show you some other ones I have. This one's called The Magic Garden. All different things in there. This book's a little thicker and heavier, so that's why I chose not to bring it. This one's Ocean. It's all different kind of ocean fun things in there. This one, Floral Wonders. Um, curious Cats and Kittens. Let's see. Oh, I'm doing it. Let's see. <laughs> oh, here's one I did, but <laughs> that one was fun. It didn't turn out the way I was planning, but that's okay. That's the beauty of coloring. It's fun. I can get a different book. Here's one I started. Haven't got too far on that one. So, and then this one, a fun gift. I got Game of Thrones. So, have you ever seen this series? So, these are just some I have, and they just happened to be in, near when I was choosing the ones I had got, or, you know, decided to bring. And then, um, pouch. And I have skinny markers and some wider markers in here, so, or I guess normal, but skinny tip and normal tip Sharpie markers to use. Um, I used to use colored pencils, but I found myself just pushing way too hard on them because I wasn't getting the vibrant color I was interested in. And so I was actually hurting my hands and made my fibro bother me some. I have a snack. It is almonds with some different flavored sugar-free chocolate chips. And then I will also add in here um, waters. So I have um, a bottle of water in the freezer. So then that will stay cold longer. And then, you know, I'll grab one from the fridge and one from the freezer. And I have to look for my little Kleenexes. Um, I know I have some, but I can't find them. Now I'll just bring a couple pieces of paper towel. You never know. So I think that's, well, I did. I showed you everything I have in here. Um, but I always bring a book and a notebook. Um, the reason I bring a notebook is sometimes they give you paperwork. Sometimes they're telling you information. I need to know whether it's a doctor's appointment or, you know, when other surgeries or whatnot that's going on, whether it's Rick, me, or the kids, whenever it's something that it's important I need to know, I always will bring, whether it's my purse or this bag, you know, whatever. I do that because um, things happen. You can't always remember everything they tell you. Um, sometimes they highlight something on the paperwork, but they told you something to do different. So it's that, that's why I, I do that. Um, trying to think. Yeah. So then I'll grab some waters. Maybe I'll grab uh, maybe another treat. I don't know. The surgery is supposed to be three hours. So, but, um, how long does it take to check in? You know, all that stuff. Will I be there four hours? You know, whatever. I just don't know. So it's just better to have a little something extra, um, I mean, it's a nice little area where he's at. I might just go for a walk, put my stuff in the car and go for a little walk. Um, but yeah, and then I already have all my clothes set out. Um, I have um, like a t-shirt or tank over there. And then I have a hoodie zip up because sometimes places are warm, some places are cold. I run warm usually. Um, some long kind of yoga pants, a little bit thicker. And then, you know, under garments and my shoes. I have everything ready. Rick is to wear a loose garment, so he's the, t you know, sweatpants and that, you know, loose top and all that stuff, so we're all ready to go, and, um, yeah, so that's what's in this giant bag. Sometimes I have more. I'll put a sweatshirt, you know, if it's, um, uh, it's hot summertime, you know, it's not, it's kind of fall time here now, but tomorrow's supposed to get to, like, 68, I think, or something, um, so I will always bring a sweatshirt or a sweater, um, along, uh, if it's going to be a long time. 
The thing I learned when my parents became sick is you go like, oh, you think you're going to a doctor's appointment or whatever. Well, next thing you know, it's four, five, six hours later because you're doing other things. So I always started to carry water with me and it just is growing. Like it's like, I mean, I don't always carry this bag to the doctor's appointments. No, it's my purse with a notepad and you know, um, things, but I just incorporated some of my purse items in here for tomorrow. Um, so yeah, that's what's in my bag. Hopefully you found it interesting. If you have things, whether you're waiting, uh, for kids, for sports, or you have to be at the hospital or, um, anything. Um, let me know what are key items that you bring along. Obviously, if I still had kids, I'd bring, you know, things for the kids to do, but I still have kids. I mean, when they were little, I, they're still around. Um, but, um, yeah, so that's what I got going on. I know I'm jibber jabbering because I'm very tired and obviously I'm probably a little nervous for tomorrow. So, yeah, I hope you like this video and thank you, Deanna, for the, um, idea. I want to even thought of it. I have watched people's what's in my bag and what's in my purse. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know why I never thought of doing it myself. So thank you again, Deanna from Adventures of Deanna. And, um, again, thank you for everybody for all your love, checking in, um, your support. We can't thank you guys enough. So I will keep everyone updated on, um, how the Rickster does. And, um, you're, you, you're amazing. I love you and send in all the love and hugs. So, there's so many people out there that are so special to me that have lots of things going on and I love you all very dearly. Take care. You're amazing. Don't ever forget how amazing you are. Okay, bye.